throw in, in, in the fear, uh, because we can't just, uh, you know, do, do any way we want to. Uh, so we got to make sure, you know, that we're, we, uh, we definitely fear God. But, you know, this is, uh, I mean, it was just only, this is not a, you know, a play around time, make believe, furry, furry land deal. This is the real deal. Amen. And God is real and He saved my soul. Thank and, God. Uh, and He can do it for anybody out there. Amen. And, uh, praise God that He's just so good, so good, so good that it's unbelievable He's so good. And, uh, so I just wanted to call in and say that. That was on my heart. Well, amen. You obey the Lord. Uh, anytime. Uh, uh, I'm going to post all the numbers up here in a minute. You can call anytime on the pre-recorded line, and we'll use that. Or you can call in anytime we're live, son. You know that you've got an open door here. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> does if they'll come and obey the Lord, especially my son. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, well son, I can't help but obey him. I love him. Sir. Amen. Well, son, you <laughs> you've truly blessed me tonight. How's all them grandbabies doing? And Ann. Amen. Doing great. Doing Amen. Great. I miss some of them not coming over and staying all night with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they, three of them just come over to order. Doesn't want. Oh, they did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three of them. Uh, uh, this, Sis got well, praise the Lord. Yeah, they said they was going out, and uh, I, I'm down here in the studio. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, well, praise the Lord. They they've got me spoiled. You do know that, you know. That's that's, right. that's how it works, you know. <laughs> I, ain't, works, I, I, reckon, I ain't I ain't got them spoiled. They got me spoiled. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, we love you, son, and uh, you call any time. Tell tell Ann to call in. We'd love to hear from her and anybody there. Just give them the opportunity. We'd, oh, no doubt. She listens. We listen. Amen. Uh, she's a, uh, Ann's a, uh, one of, the, well, like the rest of us, where she's at home, she's a, she's a prayer warrior. Right, Amen. Right. And that's what hey, I tell. We need, we need those. <laughs> Amen. I tell all all the women or in men that ain't got jobs, I say, look, if you guys, you know, everybody holler and go to church, I say, you're the church. I said, but when you got time, you talk about an awesome ministry just praying for the needs of others. Wow. Uh, amen. My God, that's uh, an intercessor. So, uh, But let her know we love her. Anything we can do to help, holler. If you need a Pepsi, holler at Pauline. If, <laughs> if you need a Diet Mountain Dew, call me. No, nah, we, right. we love you, we, son. Well, you know we will. <laughs> amen. We love you, son. You got something else you want to share? Love you, too. No, I'm good. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about my testimony, too, while I'm on Come here. on. Uh, come on. Obey uh, the Lord. You know, God spoke to me and told me, uh, you know, this is always... Breaks me down when I talk about it, but that's a good thing. Uh, uh, he told me I didn't love my kids, and you know that's hard, uh, hard thing to get spoke to, uh -huh. uh, hard to accept, because <laughs> I wasn't living right for him at the time. And uh, so anyway, he told me I didn't love my kids. So I asked the Lord. I said, uh, you know, I don't understand this. Uh, you know, how can that be? Uh, I mean, how can you tell me this? Because I really didn't understand it. I thought he had to break it down for me. <laughs> and uh, he done a real good job on that, too. And, uh, you know, he told me, he said, am I not love? And I said, of course you are. And he told me, he said, am I not the truth? I said, of course you are. He said, then why are you not teaching them about me? Wow. And, uh, you know, that I just, I, I had to hit my face. In the presence of the Lord, brother, I just had to hit my face. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And uh, I had to cry out to him and, and apologize for anything and everything I've ever done. And uh, thank God that he he called my name at my kitchen table. And I praise him for that. And uh, I will never forget that. And I will live my life for him forevermore because he touched me. Wow. Praise God. And uh, so anyway... Uh, I'm one, down every time I talk about amen. That, so. I'm one proud papa, son. I'm amen. one, and your mommy's proud. We're proud of you. We we encourage you to hold on to the Lord. Hey, before you go, could you share with us a little bit about your uh, ministry? Uh, how you got the name? How long you know? And what you do? Tell us. Tell us about saving America one soul at a time. All right. Yeah. Well, when uh, God touched me at my kitchen table, uh, it all started there. <laughs> uh, right after that. I mean, it was, you know, the the next day, actually. Uh, I mean, he poured and poured stuff out on me, and uh, and it was just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, the name and, and the ministry and uh, what all I'm supposed to do and these revivals coming up and, uh, you know, Saving America One Soul at a Time, Outreach Ministry is the name of it. And uh, we just help the poor and the elderly and help anybody we can. And, 
take the word of God to where it needs to be took to. And uh, we got some revivals coming up this summer. Glad to be busy for God, ain't no doubt. Amen. And, uh, you know, he just he put that on my heart and uh, and uh, has definitely shaped me to be able to go do it. Yeah, amen. It's an amazing part of God Almighty. <laughs> amen. You used, uh, to, you used to think old dad was crazy when you was little, didn't you? Oh, ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. <laughs> well, you're going to be twice <laughs> worser than me, son. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, ain't no doubt. Uh, I think, I think everybody thinks everybody's crazy. Amen, <laughs> amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Uh, tell us about some of these revivals, the dates, uh, uh, where well, they're we at. we got one coming up in uh, Scottsville, Kentucky, May the 15th. Hey, that's down there in Brother Willie's territory. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe he can come out and, and uh, help you out. Hey, man, I, I talked to him about it, and uh, uh, I think it's good. I, I know it's going to be real good. Anything we do for God real good. Hey, and, man. Uh, you know, like I said, God, God has planned this out, and, uh, you know, this was not just my plan. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And uh, God has, uh, has set everything in order for this, and uh, and I'm proud, proud to do it for him. Amen. And, uh, and, uh, and if it costs me my life, I don't care what it costs me, and I'll say that proudly, Amen. and I'll stand on that. Amen. And uh, God is my is my everything. And uh, so anyway, the revival's coming. I expect them to be good. we got one coming up May 15th, like I said, in Scottsville, Kentucky. And uh, don't got the date just yet on the on the other two coming up, but one in June in uh, in Whitesburg, Kentucky, and one in July right here in Crossville, Tennessee. Amen. Well, you know, me and your mama try to be uh, as much as we can to one night of them or two or whatever God allows. I'll be there. Uh, I've, I've been praying that uh, He'd make a way that I could at least be there uh, once every time you preach. Uh, you know, I, that's between me and the Lord. You're my son. I'm proud of you, and uh, I just want to be there to be a prayer warrior. I don't. Uh, I just want to encourage you to, to go with Jesus, son. Amen. Amen. Well, we love you. Anything else? No, no, that that, that cleared me. <laughs> well, amen. Uh, as much as you can in the evenings and when you can. Uh, Call in and obey the Lord on, on all of our programs and uh, just uh, whatever God gives you. We want to give you an opportunity to get it out there. Amen. All right, son. We love you. All right, love you all too. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jesus on the main line. Boy, I'm sitting here crying. Um, whew, ain't nothing make you no prouder than when you work all your life for the Lord and then one day you turn around and there's your children in church. And man, that just blows your bubble, you know. When they were little, you know, he's the drummer. Th those of you that listen to our old CDs when we traveled for seven years on the road, you know, he he's the drummer. A little bitty fella, Chris, you know, my baby boy. And, uh, you know, he was the drummer for us on Eddie and Sons of Thunder. Uh, and man, so, well, let me get to the phone line. Hello, you've got the gospel music hey, box. All right, go ahead, Pastor. This is Brother Eddie up in Cookville, Tennessee. Come on. I just, I just call and let you know that I'd like to go to that revival with your son. If you if you just let me know the dates and stuff, I'd like to come with you. Okay, May the 15th. Um Going to Scottsville, Kentucky, I believe it is. I'll I'm in the one here in Crawford. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm sure he'll listen to the program, and uh, I'm going to give him your number. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll post it here in the chat. If, he, if, he don't, I mean, if he's listening, I'll give it to him, 931 uh, 310 Amen. Hey, it's time to I mean, it's time to pull together. If we're going to pull together, we have to go all the way. Amen, brother. Amen. I'm sure he'd be uh, glad to have anybody that God sends. That's right. Go Amen. all the way. Amen. He can come down and uh, be with you at the church at the revival at the church. Amen. Amen. I hope he gets to come. Uh, yeah. Uh, amen. Uh, that's uh, we're going to be down in. Uh, Cookville, right there at the Soul Filling Station Church. Matter of fact, I'll be there this Sunday evening uh, just in worship with you uh, coming up. Uh, uh, and I'm waiting. The Lord said he would reveal my revival date th there when I'm while I'm there to, to give you. 
So, uh, I, but I'm coming just to worship uh, with you, brother, in spirit and truth this Sunday evening. Why, yeah, come on ahead, brother. Amen. Have your shouting shoes on. I got them, brother. I keep them on. Listen, after hearing my son uh, step up and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, call in, brother, right now, the devil, he he's nothing. <laughs> That's right, brother. I'm I telling you. I'm proud of your son. I am too, I, brother. I've heard him testify. <laughs> Amen. In that. And everything, and I tell you what, I want him to come preach for me. Amen. Well, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Why, well, yeah, I want him to come he, up to the cook and preach. He he has definitely uh, got the zeal. He's gonna take Daddy's place when Daddy's done gone be with Jesus. You doggone right. He's gonna be twice rough, rougher than I was, brother. They they they, they they say he's gonna, he gonna <laughs> preach heaven sweet and hell hell strong. Uh, heaven's uh, sweet and hell's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amen. Hey, you can, how do you say he's going to preach what and then preach the... He's going to preach heaven sweet and hell hot. All right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm claiming that week. I'm in, I'm in the claiming business. Amen, amen. Uh, no, I just thought I'd call. I've been off work for just a little bit. I had to go and check some tables out and stuff. And, yeah. And I just wanted to call in and let you know... Uh, let you know I love you. Well, bro- I just want to tell you I love you. Well, brother, I love you too. And uh, <laughs> you keep on keeping on, and uh, the Lord's a willing, and I'm alive. We'll see you Sunday evening. Uh, All I- right. Don't forget our singing Sunday. Um, I, won't, I won't be there uh, Sunday morning at 10, but I will be there at 11. But um, we got it. Singing coming our way from Knoxville. Anybody wants to come, more than welcome. My wife will be there, and I'm sure there'll be other people there. And, and uh, we got the uh, we got some singers coming from Georgia. They'll be there Sunday morning, Sunday night also. Amen. So uh, just come, and that's what. Let's, like you always say, let's raise our hands, let's worship God. Amen. Amen. Let the Lord have his way. That's right, brother. Praise and, God. Uh, and uh, just let everybody know that God is God, and we want everybody to come and fellowship with us and raise their hand, clap their hands, uh, uh, just get lost in the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. And I'm going to get back quiet. Somebody else, I, I feel like people, more people are going to call you that, but I'm going to claim it. Amen. Well, I'm sure praying they do because uh, this yeah, ain't I'm claiming. this ain't no one man rodeo. <laughs> I need well, help. If they, don't, if they don't, I'll call you back myself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Call back and preach a word, brother. There you go. I can do it, brother. Amen. I can do it. It, Amen. It me. Amen. I hear you, brother. Well, we love That's you. Right. We love you, and God bless. And God bless, All right. brother. Eddie. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. Woo, praise the Lord. All right. That's, uh, there's an open door for, uh, my son, a young, uh, uh, minister, uh, evangelist, whatever God's shaping him to be, uh, as he works in his ministry that the Lord birthed through him, uh, there at his table as he was sharing in his testimony, saving America one soul at a time outreach. So, uh, you know, pray for him. Continue to pray for him as he steps up and out. For Jesus, amen, and his family. Pray for his wife. You know, a lot of times people forget to pray for ministers' wives. And I'm telling you, uh, I pray for them because me and Pauline, I remember when we were young and how hard it was on my wife. And and even today, if God hadn't have purposed my wife's heart, you see, when he called me, he purposed my wife for the ministry because he had to shape her the same as me because we're, we're one, uh, entangled as one. We're no more separate. We become one. And and he purposed her heart. And, and uh, man, since I'm telling you, it's awesome. When, when God did it, it was awesome. And uh, it's still awesome today because sometimes she can go with me and sometimes she don't get to, but she prays for me. Amen. <laughs> is it me uh cut out i don't know if it's you or me brother <laughs> i don't know <laughs> praise god uh i can't uh can't tell it all mine's lit up and shows it is doing good somebody else if uh it's cutting out uh let us know uh 
how the sound quality is. He's working, uh, Brother Willie is working on a new uh, sound system, a computer and all that, and, and, and he's uh, wanting to know if it was.